one exciting thing about WordPress is the fact that you can literally change every aspect of your site, which includes the menu bar here. This is the default, which orders pages in alphabetical order. But what if we wanted to have a different order and make that accessible in a, in a really funky way? All you've got to do is activate what's, what's known as the WordPress menu. So you click on Appearance, Menus, give your menu a name, like my menu, create it, then on top of here, on Theme Locations, you need to activate it. Don't ask me why, I'm just a messenger. This is what you do in order to get this going. So if you now refresh your home page, you will see that the menu has gone completely. That's because we haven't added any items to the menu yet. So to do that, we can add any page we like, any of our block categories we like, and we can even add external custom links to the menu. Let me show you what that means in reality. Technically, I want all my pages to be there. I just want them to be in a different order. So I go select all and add them all to the menu. So here they all are. Let me just save the menu and show you what that means. Refresh the front page. There's all the pages that I've created, which is nice. Now to bring them into <laughs> the order that we like. I'd like my About page to be at the front of the menu, and I'd like to, the Contact page to be underneath the About page. So this is how you do it. You just, you just drag these boxes, a bit like in the, in the dashboard, what we've seen, underneath each other. I'd like for the Welcome to my website page to be the home page. We'll deal with that in a minute. I'll just put that at the front here. And maybe I would like Miami Beach to be underneath Projects and Sea Turtles also underneath Projects. I could also have Sea Turtles underneath Miami Beach if I wanted to, but in this case I'd like that to be underneath um, Projects as well. So I'll save it, refresh it, and there we go. So we have Welcome to my website at the front here, just like we wanted to. We have About, and we also have contact me being a child page of about and I have my projects which are Miami Beach and Sea Turtles. Now that's much better. All that's missing now is the home tab. Let's worry about that because we would like this to be my home tab. Technically WordPress gives this the the title of the page but in the menu I'd like this to be called home. So I just go here again a little triangle open that up and I will call this home. Go and save it, refresh it, and ta-ta. I've got my home page like I wanted to. I've got my about page, projects, everything's there underneath it. Now, I can also, while I'm at it, link to something external, like, uh, like a website of mine, like a different website, perhaps. So I would say this is the URL, and I'll give it a label. I'll just call it my blog, maybe, or my my art website. Add this to the menu and position it wherever you like. If you leave it, if you if you just drop it into the list, save the menu, refresh the page, it will come up at the back here. So if you click on that, it'll now go to my other website, which you know, which is this one. Very nice. I can also add other things here, so it'll become a, a drop-down list. I could even say, well, if you wanted the Contact Me page underneath my art website, you can, you can do that. Let's just see if he's actually done it. I'm sure he has. So there's Contact Me now under my art website. Doesn't make a lot of sense. What would probably make more sense if my art website is underneath the About tab. So let's change this back quickly. Contact Me is under About, and my art website is also under About. That's exciting. So there we go. The other amazing thing is that if I had a page that I want to be a landing page for people who can maybe sign up to a workshop or whatever, but I don't want this to be part of the top menu, I could just have the page, create the page as normal, and just remove it from any of these things, uh, like say sea turtles. If I want sea turtles to disappear completely, all I go is 
remove it from the menu. So Sea Turtles is gone from the menu, yet if I were to send a direct link out to people, they could still go there. It just doesn't show up on my top level menu. That's what this does. And that is where a lot of the power of WordPress comes in again. So it, uh, you know, keep that in mind if you're, if you're building a menu. One thing that you've got to be aware of is that this is, again, a theme-specific thing. So this theme, the WordPress default theme called 2010, does support the menus. Other themes that may be a bit older may not have support for these menus. Uh, sometimes you, you have to do a lot of um, code fiddling in order to get this going, but uh, with the WordPress default theme and with Modularity Lite 1.3 and all the brand new popular themes, they usually have support for that. Mm -hmm.